AV, recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure, see you there. You're asking. I ain't lending. Never again. You got in stock. This food and drink downtown's got to offer, huh? Multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by the I do. Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. And? How's progress? Just a small difference of opinion to I now. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket, sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so many that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aimed to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on kids' luxury. Was kind of his MO. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Parse the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. She was manipulated. 
There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. That goes for you, too. Right. Our objective. To free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right plan. Let me hear it. Hanson to meet with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close. To Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals, we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. So we kidnap them. How do we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NC, an exploitable opening. We're going to track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavioral imprints are tuned already. And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your X-Flow wrap. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen. Right. Well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Then a disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress-up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. Any for your thoughts, Alex, about all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. Addressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think. 
think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hanson up on a silver platter, and we'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks. What's his true aim here? Save him so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agencies got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So, breach the station, trace a car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're nearest station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it.
Heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relic's firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I guess. We can take that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First, good news, you said. Is there a second thing? Right. It's... super important. Stays between us. Skada. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. But see you soon. Great. Just great. Got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Hold on. Let me ping the station remotely. Try to save us some time. No response. Think standing around's gonna help? It might. Think we're good with just one more? <laughs> it's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Looking for something? Won't find it here. Nothing to find. Hey, that your mom? She doing all right? Uh-huh. She's fine. Sure about that? Dunno. Maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BDing. 
She'll wake up soon, snarf a scop dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. Got a signal from a borked transceiver. Here to fix it. Then fix it. <sighs> borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah, turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? <laughs> okay, Eddie's are all yours. Nova, done deal. So, switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. feels like. We're back on, baby. Ah, this fucking sucks. Preaching to the choir. Surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So 
So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it. Brooklyn. Mm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasting funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yeah. No feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too. Not a place. That was always changing. But people, sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Songbird, need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hansen spring the trap on Myers. My end of the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd... blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run. All before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusher mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up. I know, V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way. Honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Sounds... sounds painfully familiar. I think I know how you feel. I know anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I 
need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hansen as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Wire's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk wanted that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City's just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then? Um... You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? I understand you, believe you, and what it's like to fight for your life, every minute of it. Gives you a new perspective, doesn't it? <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed, let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. Here's to you, carnalito.
Hey, you made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Do this often? Drink solo? Often? Not the word I'd use. I wrote you because... because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so... What you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. I like the sound of that myself. Just shed this skin and leave the Night City murk behind. Hey. Yeah. Like, who are you anyway? Huh. <laughs> good question. All the shit going on in my life lately? A damn good question. Definitely too soon to know for sure. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now? If, you know, life had taken a different turn? Maybe I'd still be with my family, out on the road. As in nomads? Mm-hmm. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now. Scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we joined Snake Nation? <laughs> Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. to your health. Okay, now you. Who would you be if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old fashioned, so yeah. Guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> Ever acted before? Outside your agency assigned roles, I mean. No. Not for more than an audience of one. Just dreaming of being under the lights. Where everyone's watching me. But I know, and they know, it's all make-believe. To our dreams. For they alone keep us sane. Ain't that the truth. Ooh, I love this song! Do this often, I'm guessing. This meaning doing shit just cuz no forethought, carefree, relaxing.
We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. See you soon, B.